The new Weir Crossing is Sunderland's first new bridge across the River Weir in over 40 years. Sunderland City Council has brought together an international team of experts to undertake the design and construction. Work began in 2015 after Sunderland City Council awarded the construction contract to a joint venture team, set up by Farron's Construction and Victor Boyk Steel Construction. The design is a striking 105 metre tall cable stayed bridge, carrying two lanes of traffic in each direction and spanning more than 330 metres. The bridge, together with the 2.8 kilometres of new highways to connect into the existing road network, has dedicated pedestrian footpaths and cycleways and will take almost three years to build. It will relieve traffic congestion, open up land for regeneration and attract investment into Sunderland. The bridge is fabricated by world-leading bridge specialist Victor Boyk at its factory in Belgium. Victor Boyk is overseeing the delivery to site and erection of the bridge in collaboration with Sarans, a world leader in heavy lifting and engineered transport. The Port of Sunderland provides the primary access for the steelwork deliveries to the site, along the River Weir, which passes alongside the city centre and existing landmarks, such as the Stadium of Light, home to Sunderland Football Club before arriving at the site of the new bridge near Pallion. The new bridge will cross the river between Pallion and Castletown and help provide better links between the A19, the city centre and the Port of Sunderland by linking in with the A1231 Wessington Way. Sunderland Enterprise Park is located to the north and on the southern approach a number of derelict warehouses have been demolished to create the new approach roads required. The new route between the A19 and the city centre will provide the linkages and open up much needed access to the many sites along the south of the River Weir creating major regeneration and investment opportunities in the area. The construction team's site offices are set up on the site of the former Alexandra Business Park to the south of the river. Significant work is being carried out on both sides of the river to link the new bridge to the existing road network in Pallion and connect it to Wessington Way. Making the new bridge a reality is a complex piece of engineering. More than 800 concrete columns, known as piles, are installed in the ground to support the new approach road leading to the bridge on the south side of the river. In the river itself, barges are used as platforms for the piling equipment throughout the construction of the reinforced steel cofferdam. Once built, the cofferdam is pumped free of water to create a dry and watertight area to work from, so the foundations for the 105 metre high new bridge pylon can be built. Over 2,000 cubic metres, that's 300 lorry loads of concrete, are then poured in over a two to three month period to form the pylon foundations. Small temporary pier supports are installed in the south side of the river. These support the bridge deck during construction. Moving on to the north bank, the foundations for the approach road that connect Wessington Way to the bridge are installed. On the south side, the southern approach road is finalised and preparations made for the main bridge deck. Within the newly constructed cofferdam, two concrete tusk-like connections are formed to support the central pylon. Preparations for the bridge deck launch are made by building supports on top of the temporary piers and in the cofferdam. 
The bridge deck is launched from the south side of the river above the water to the centre of the river. This involves pushing successive sections of bridge which form a cantilever between the temporary piers. The pylon, which is twice as high as Nelson's column and taller than Big Ben's clock tower, is then transported the three miles along the river by barge at high tide. Once all preparations are complete, it is expected to take several hours to lift and secure the pylon in its final position. Before the second phase of the bridge deck is launched, additional temporary supports will be built. And once the deck is in position, the cable stays that connect the bridge deck to the pylon are installed. This will allow the temporary supports in the river to be removed. Finishes, including lighting, safety features and road markings are added, and final safety checks take place before the new bridge opens in the spring of 2018. To find out more, please visit www.newwearcrossing.co.uk